This is going to be a follow-up video to Hooked on Vetties or Vets um, gun cabinet mo modification video. Got the carpeting from Home Depot. This is the one that I've got. An area rug, six by eight, interior, exterior. It's the gray rug. So, and I also got 3M's uh, Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. Uh, also got it Home Depot as well. Um, so what I did was took an interior measurement of the height and transferred that to the carpeting. And I wanted the, this particular carpet has like ridges or lines that run up and down. And I wanted that to be up and down on the cabinet, cabinet, cabinet as well. So I <clears throat> took the interior measurement of 55 inches transferred that to the carpeting and then made a uh, made a cut so I've got got that all cut now and then I'm taking a measurement of each section since I have it all cut for the height and the side was uh, 17 and three quarters this model of cabinet is the 22 gun cabinet um, so you'll have to take measurements of uh, different ones they have available but the sides are uh, 17 and three quarter, I believe they were. Yeah, 17 and three quarter. You want to come over here so they can see. And there's there's little notches where you can kind of see inside of the cabinet. And so I just put my tape measure in there. It's not going to have to be perfect, but I'm kind of a little bit OCD with it. So I got 17 and three quarter. And so I'm doing one section at a time. All right, so we got our measurement of 17 and three quarter. And I've got the, 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 the lines that are embedded into the carpeting. I've got them going up, oriented up. And I'm gonna transfer that 17 and three quarter measurement. Just with a, uh, a Sharpie. I'm gonna measure twice and cut one. Do that again up here. Then what I do is take a straight edge board, put it on both sides, and then I usually have somebody step on it, and then I'll make a mark all the way down. I've got that mark on there. I'll just take that board, slide underneath it, and then take a razor knife and cut that section out. Yeah, this is the front side that's going to be what you see. So you turn that over. And what we're going to do is spray this side and then spray the interior. And let it set for about 15 seconds until it's tacky. The can, this can says to uh, use your knuckles to touch the uh, to touch the glue and if it transfers to your skin it's still too wet once you're able to touch it and it aggressively uh, is tacky to your skin but doesn't leave marks on it or it is, doesn't transfer wetness to your skin that it's it's ready to be bonded to the other surface So we let this sit for about 15 to 30 seconds and it's it's tacky it's not leaving a film on my hand so it's ready to be installed inside there so I, just, I fold it in half place it inside line up the corners kind of resettable for a little bit but not very long. All 
So the next we're gonna do the back. And like I said, here's that little hole that I just, I just placed the corner of the tape measure down in there. Hold it on that. And I measure to that exact same si spot on the opposite side, which is 20 and three quarters of an inch. And we'll do the same thing we just done previously. So I got that cut at 20 and three quarter and I've got it just a little bit too wide. I took an interior measurement and it looks like it should be like 20 and a half. Uh, and I think that's because of the thickness of the carpeting on both sides. Um, probably would have been in hindsight would have been better to install this first on the back and then do the, the left and right sides so you can hide any excess or shyness up in this front section here and, and it not be seen. So what I'm going to do is trim this off just a little bit off this side, maybe um, a quarter of an inch all the way down because um, you can see that it's just a little bit, just a little bit too wide. So I've got just a little bit excess there. Too much for me to, once it's tacky, to try and press up in those corners. So I got that trimmed off to 20 and a half now and done a little dry fit. It seems to be exactly what it needs to be. So we're gonna do that, uh, do that two, two surface bonding again, once to the back. Make sure you always spray the back side and then we're gonna spray the back of the cabinet and let it get tacky. And then I just spray it, make sure, go over the corners real good again. That last stroke just to uh, make sure it bonds good and doesn't come up on the edges. So I got all that installed. Um, everything went in good. Uh, what I did was just post the pin the corners up there um, on e either side. Come down and press the, the bottom two corners in. And then work from the center, pressing my way towards the outsides. Um, to get all, out all any of the wrinkles. What I'm gonna do next is actually, uh, I, I'm, I can't remember who I saw do it, but I'm going to put some on the, the door here. And then I'm also gonna put the uh, put some on the floor. I'm not certain if I'm gonna use the foam that came with it or not. It has some extra um, cushion in the bottom. I believe I will. Um, I'm hoping that 3M adhesive I have will, will bond to the foam as well. I'll read the can and find out. So this is the foam that come with it. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and use it. Uh, what I did was cut it down. Uh, if you remember the, the width of it is now 20 and a half inches instead of 20 and three quarters due to the, uh, the eighth inch thickness of the carpeting on both sides. So what I did was trim this down to 20 and a half, uh, just a quarter inch off of, off of the side and done a dry fit. It, it works good. Um, what I'm going to do is transfer this to a piece of carpet. Um, that's just slightly uh, wider and taller than this is. And once I get this piece glued down, I'm gonna come back and then spray over the top and then spray the back of my carpeting and then tuck the edges, uh, roll those edges over uh, on all four sides. So we'll see how that turns out. Okay, so I've, I've left just a little bit of a gap around on this side and there. On that side, I've traced maybe, maybe I don't know, uh, 3 sixteenths to a quarter of an inch on this side and I'm going to do the same on this side here. Um, just follow on that same thickness past the edge of the sponge or foam. And I did check on the bottle it does adhere to foam so that's why I'm going to go ahead and use this piece. And hopefully it doesn't have to be perfect and I, 
I'll be able to tuck these edges in. All right, so we've got the uh, the glue or adhesive applied to both surfaces. We're going to go ahead and um, install that in. <clears throat> then I'm going to dry fit that um, other piece of carpet. Okay, what I've done was uh, trimmed a little bit off of uh, the front uh, or the back and then over here in this corner um, and that's kind of centered it up a little bit more and you can see the framing goes down there and I notched that out on either side and you can see how much uh, slack or uh, shyness you have to work with the, the foam doesn't even come up to that from the factory so um, I just measured it off of that so what I've, I've tucked my corners all the way around and instead of uh, pulling this back out and spraying the whole thing because it's a little bit difficult to get all squared up uh, I'm just gonna lift up half lift it up halfway spray that side let it get tacky fold that side down and then do the same thing on this side One of the part, bad parts about this is it, it's, it's got that vibration anytime you open the door, it's, it's kind of loud. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this nut off here and, and take this piece off, and I'm gonna glue some of that carpet on the back side of this rod and on the bottom side as well, and uh, see how that holds up over time. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, but I've got plenty of uh, extra carpet left over little bits and pieces here so and then I've got this section over here that I'm gonna make the shelf out of um, I can't remember which one it was I'm pretty sure it was uh, the the, the Vetti's channel that uh, recommended that one so I, I, I'm gonna give this a shot see how well it holds up and uh, go from there with it we'll walk you through it all right so this is a half inch nut uh, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, take that off that off each piece will slide out of the track and you can twist that handle to get them to come up and then we'll just lay this down and uh, spray it just like we've done the rest of it cut a little strip to put over either side to kind of quieten that rattle down all right so I've got a couple little strips maybe three three and a half inches or so maybe four and uh, what I'm gonna do is do the just exactly what we've been doing spray both sides uh, let it get tacky and put that on there and see if that quietens it up and hopefully that'll stay uh, we'll, we'll see if not i'll leave it in the comments how well it held up i'm not going to go all the way up to the very tip top of this but because um, that doesn't come out um, of those little channels up there this is really nasty on this carpeting so we'll move it I don't like 
the way that I'll reposition that. All right, and then we'll just uh, reinstall that and show you what it looks like and see how how much it's quietened that down. Just remember which way your uh, your key is right now. Right now my key is in the locked position, so we're going to have to reinstall this in this position. And then we can take some acetone and clean up all this fuzzy and sticky stuff, um, make it look nice, clean, and neat. But you can see how much it's quietened that down. We'll see how long it holds up. So for, for lighting inside there, um, if you got this in a closet or something, it's gonna be a little bit dark. So uh, there was another YouTuber uh, recommended some uh, motion activated lights uh, these are just peel and stick i also got these at home depot um they're i, I held them up in there I, i'm not sure how bright they're going to be but i think it'll it'll serve its purpose um, these are just peel and stick i'm going to put them up in the very tip top and i also got these at home depot these were i think they're on sale for uh, 10 bucks um the the adhesive spray was also ten dollars and then the carpet was um I think it was 18 bucks, 1880 something, um, as of the day I'm recording this, which is uh, Christmas Eve, 2019. So, um, for about 50 bucks total, um, you can do all, all this stuff that, oh, and I also got a, a two by two, um, three quarter inch thick piece of plywood to make this shelf in here. Um, somebody said that the standard shelf that come with it was a little bit flimsy and, and I agree it is so what I'm going to do is, is cut that um, cut that shelf install it back here in the back wrap that in carpet as well and uh, so that brought that, that was like another seven dollars so that's how it come up to fifty dollars total this is this is the shelf that came with it and uh, it may hold up I don't know I, I like the the look that um, that Vetti's uh, or vets had with his finished product so I'm, I'm I bought the two by two by three quarter inch sheet of plywood and I just there's a lip there lined it up with that and just drew an outline on it so we're going to cut that um, and then transfer these holes uh, maybe drill out some pilot holes on either side so we can get it screwed in to the uh, to the cabinet all right so we got that cut out um, one thing that I didn't realize when I was cutting it is uh, to take into account for the thickness of the carpet on both sides. So this, this shelf was going to be really, really tight if I used it. So um, go about an eighth of an inch narrower than this shelf here. Uh, actually, mine kind of sits down inside there now. Um, so about, about an eighth of an inch narrower um, than what you normally uh, would have cut it. When you marked it off and then now we're just going to transfer these hole the holes onto the into the board just drill some pilot holes out and uh, on both either side and then glue the the carpet on onto it and get it installed okay so we've got the carpet on there so in order to keep from uh ripping that carpet or putting a screw in to hold the shelf in these are the two shelf holes i'm just going to take a, a soldering iron or, or a hot uh a soldering iron and uh, just go through there that way it leaves a clean a clean section there and then um, something I didn't realize was the uh, the shelf doesn't go all the way back to the back it only goes to about right here to allow longer guns to come up so <clears throat> I'm gonna have to run some more uh, carpet on the back side of that it doesn't have to be pretty or anything but we'll put another strip on the back side of that and then i'm just what i'm going to do is um, i pre-drilled those holes there and i'm just going to put that in on an angle on the inside of the cabinet put it on an angle and get them lined up 
and then raise it up and then screw that screw in. Okay, I've got these uh, lights installed now and uh, they come on just as soon as you open the door. Um, and I've got one up top and then one down here, uh, over here on this side. The one uh, at the top didn't come on until I actually turned my, or put my uh, hand inside there, but it, I mean, it, it illuminates it fairly well. Um, I can see a little bit better than what's showing up on the, on the camera here. All right, so that'll be it. Uh, I'm gonna maybe later cut out some um, gun holders or the little notched things. I'm not gonna use the foam that came with it just simply because it won't hold up on there. Um, if I do, I'll, I'll cut it out of wood and, and put some uh, of that carpeting on it and make another video. So anyway, that's, that's the end of my video. Hope maybe help somebody out. Uh, thank you guys for watching.